Okay, I'm going to expand on the major scale lesson I did last week, how to build a major scale. Um, you may remember, you pick a starting note, and from that note you move up a tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, and you get your major scale. So that was how to build a major scale. Now I'm going to show you how to build chords out of a major scale. So you're going to start on your first note, in this case we're going to use C, third fret of your A string. That's called your root. So the name of this chord is going to be C, something. We don't know if it's gonna be major or minor or a diminished. You take your first note, and then you add to that the third note of the scale. So root, skip over the second note, go to the third note, which is E, C, D, E. Now we need to add one more note called the fifth. So we go up five notes in the major scale. One, two, three, four, five which is G, root, third, fifth, or in the, the note names, C, E, G. Now you can't play a chord on one string, so you're gonna expand those notes across the guitar. So first you need to find a C, and then somewhere in a reachable area, you need to find an E. Now I'm gonna go to my open G, there's another C, and there's my high E. Now this is a very typical C chord shape. C, E, G, C, E. I just played a C major chord using the notes of the C major scale. Now, that's not where it ends. You have seven notes available to you in the major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the octave is just a repeat of your lower C. So you have seven notes that are available to you to build chords from. So now let's go to the second note of the scale. It's D. We can now consider that our root. So this is gonna be a D something chord. D, root. Then we go to the third note away from D. D, E, F. And now we need the fifth note away from D. D, E, F, G, A. So A is our fifth. Root, third, fifth. Or D, F, a. Now, to expand it across the guitar, here's a D note. Somewhere in a reachable area, we need an A or an F or another D. doesn't matter what order you do them in. There's an A. There's a D. And then on my high E string, there's an F. Now, I know I'm going through this quickly. Uh, one of the best things to do, like we talked about in a few lessons back, is to get a blank guitar fretboard chart. And the notes of the C major scale, all your C's, D's, E's, F's, G's, A's and B's, start plotting them in all over the fretboard so you can see where these notes exist. And then it will be very easy for you to put your finger down on an F, a D, an A, and another D, and just create chords. Now, even if you don't know theory to know what that chord is, look it up in a chord book. You know that D is the root, so it's a D something. Your ear might tell you what it is. That's a D minor. So C and D minor are two chords that belong to the key of C major or the C major scale, right? Now you do that all the way up the guitar. So I'm gonna go through a few of them really quick. So now we move to the third note of our scale, which is E. And you build a root third fifth on it. Root third fifth. So E, G, B. I find E's, G's, and B's all over the guitar and I play them together. And what I end up with is a an E minor chord. So now I know C, D minor, and E minor are all chords that belong to the C major scale. Now, this works out great with soloing, so if you're writing a song in the key of C, or using the C major scale, and you're using all those notes to play your solos or melodies, now you know that a C chord, a D minor chord, and an E minor will work perfectly because those notes, those chords are actually built right from that scale. Let's go to the fourth note, which is F. F, A, C. Root, third, fifth. So I find F's, A's, and C's in a spot, so this one happens to be an F major chord. Same, let's move to G, which is the fifth note of the C scale, but now in this case we're gonna call this our root. G, B, D. G, B, D, put a collection of those together, and your basic G chord. The next one, uh, A, C, E, 
A, C, E, root third, fifth, put those together, and I have an A minor chord. Now the next chord is not as common when you're first starting out on guitar. B, D, F, that's a B diminished chord. There's a few ways to play that chord. It's not a pleasant chord on its own, but used properly in an arrangement, it can sound really nice. That's also up to the, uh, up to the listener. Some people will find that a uh, beautiful chord. I personally love diminished and uh, dissonant sounding chords, but when you're first starting off, your ear is not quite adjusted to sounds like that, so you might find that a bit, a bit of a harsh chord. So, to recap, the notes in the C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. If I build a chord off of each one of those notes, I end up with C, D minor, E minor, F, G, a minor, B diminished, and then back to C. All those chords belong to the C major scale. So that scale and those chords will work perfectly when you're writing chord progressions, melodies, and guitar solos. That's only one scale. There are 11 more. So each scale comes with its own combination of chords. Now I'll give you a quick little tip here, uh, and I'll expand on this in the next lesson. No matter what major scale you figure out, the order of chords is always going to be major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. So any scale you figure out, doesn't matter if it's the C scale, or let's say later on you want to figure out the, the notes of a G major scale, the order of chords will always be major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. Now it's up to you to plot in those notes. I will expand on this a lot more in the next lesson, and we'll go through all 12 keys. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Any questions, just uh, post them underneath the video, or uh, contact me at Nathan Fleet on Twitter, or subscribe to the uh, playlist. All the music lessons are in a playlist on YouTube, so you can watch them in order, at random, because some of them are a little more advanced than others. But yeah, please do uh, keep up with these because we'll be doing a lot more interesting uh, theory and non-theory related lessons. Thanks.